Top 10 Manual with Evil MC Worth Reading Looking for a manual with an evil MC? While there are so many manga main characters like overpowered, romantic, loners, and delinquents, we choose to read the manhwa with evil main characters. Look no further, here are 10 manhwa that are sure to satisfy your craving. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about manhwa with evil MCs. If you are looking for a manhwa with a dark and twisted plot, then you will love these 10 titles. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with our number 10, Vizilante. I absolutely love these type of mangas or manuals. When the justice system fails the MCs so they take justice into their own hands, they are always golden. And this is no exception. While the art is not the best, the story definitely makes up for it. I forgot the MC's name but wow, I really like him. He is a real cutie in my eyes. Overall, it's really good if you want some evil kinda type of manhwa then. Number 9. Hero Killer The world is in constant turmoil, with constant wars breaking out between heroes and villains. Gifted with supernatural abilities, one lone girl sets out on a bloody path for revenge against the injustices of the world she lives in. With the constant clashes between titans, no one is safe. If no one is willing to protect the innocent, who are the real heroes and who are the real villains? What truly separates one from the another? It is really good. The explanation of superpowers, of the characters and so on, a very interesting story, which is a beautiful art. What more do you want? Number 8. How to live as a villain. I love this one no matter what you say. You have been chosen as a player in the great game to select the next god successor, the mission. Congratulations! Si Young Hoon has suddenly fallen into another world to participate in a game to become a god. This other world is akin to that of a game contains player who cooperate and also kill each other in cold blood. Si Young Hoon, a person without an ounce of talent, uses wicked and cruel tricks to become an all-powerful player. I personally recommend it as it has adequate descriptions of skills and items and the story is a great read, at least for me. Number 7. The Devil's Boy it's a good-looking manhwa, especially the powers look nice and crisp. Jung Ho is bullied to the point of self-harm until one day his prayers are answered by Mephistopheles, the Arch Devil. Mephisto offers Jung Ho magical powers that would allow him to take revenge on his bullies and in return ask for his soul. It's an easy choice for Jung Ho, who thinks nothing can be worse than the living hell that he is life. But what he doesn't know is that there are greater forces at work and that he is but a pawn in a much larger game played by demons and exorcists. In the end, the story and artwork were engaging and I would be delighted to read it again. Number 6. The Dark Magician Transmigrates After 66,666 Years This one is pretty good. The MC is really interesting. Moreover, the art is especially good and fits perfectly with the plot. Diablo Volpir a powerful dark mage was defeated and sealed away in a battle against the Twelve Gods. He finally wakes up from his sleep 66,666 years later, however in the body of a newborn baby, Jamie Walton. Nine years later, with the fraction of power he once held and with the loving family and peaceful environment he is now surrounded by, Jamie plans to exact revenge against the Twelve Gods that had sealed him away. I really recommend this manhwa to everyone who likes the genre of OP main characters. Moving on to our number 5, Master of GU. One of the best stories and characters I have ever seen. The manga is colored and nicely drawn not like other colored mangas. Humans are the wisest of all creatures and venom bugs are the essence of all creations. In a strange world all about rearing, refining and utilizing venom bugs, a time traveler reborns over and over to achieve immortality. Do not lament for the trials and tribulations ahead, for I shall vanquish whatever stands in my path. 
as I brave the dangers that the universe throws at me, my eyes will forever look toward the azure sky. Very fun and not too much drama, just the right amount which makes it even more unique. Number 4. Triple F Class Trash Hero After being summoned to Fantasia, Han Su Kong spends a grueling 10 years and finally defeats the Lord of Demons. He is happy and assumes he'll be returning to his own world, when unexpectedly the god of the world gives him a report card. It's a unique story and totally different from other Isakai series, so it is the series that gives you totally different vibe. MC of this series is interesting and actions of the same is legitimate according to me. I know many people may not like this series or MC but according to me, it's a good series. Number 3. Villain to Kill Oh, this is fun. It's okay without being obnoxious. There are two kinds of people with special abilities, villains who are driven by their evil desires and psychers who pursue justice and work against villains. Cajun Lee is a very powerful psyker with a good heart, but one day when he visits his friend in Greece, things take a wrong turn. Following an unexpected chain of events, Cajun ends up in the body of a Korean high school boy who has just become a villain. Will his sense of justice win in the end, or will he end up becoming a cold-blooded villain? The art is quite good, and the story feels very well thought. The characters seem to have a deep meaning and an interesting story about them. For now, overall, I would say a 9 for this series. Number 2. Magic Emperor Well, this is a rare Manhua. Manhua usually don't express emotions and feelings. Most have a shitty plot and usually follow a common norm with MC getting wonderful stuff and slowly getting powerful. But this MC of this man who has great intelligence and the evil vibe which is very satisfying while reading. Trust me, you will at least not regret reading this one. This man was shows perfect character depths and gives a real feeling in tense situation and perfect cliffhangers as well. This is one of my favorite mangas and it is one of them that just gets you excited like solo leveling or one of the greats. The MC is basically evil but won't do anything without a reason. As the title suggests, he has demonic powers and is just kinda sick. Number 1. Reverse Villain Jung Woo is stuck in a reincarnation cycle along with his nemesis Sin Ryong. Ever since he was little, he had a dream. He wanted to become strong enough to conquer Murim. However, things don't always go the way he planned. Shin Ryong defeated him on every occasion. At this point, Han Jung Woo had been reincarnated five times and was defeated yet again. When he was reincarnated for the sixth time, he was born into the modern world. Being born into a new world changes Jung Woo's goal, as there is no Murim in the modern world. I would say this is a story you should give it a try. Okay, people. The above were all the best recommendations by We Love Anime. I hope that you like at least one of them. Each manhwa is perfect in its own way. The majority of manhwas follow the same concept of revenge and reincarnation in a fantasy world but with a different plot. Also subscribe for daily top 10s.